Very good. And it passes all the tests? Yep. It all went well. Very good. Perfect. Cancer is complex, but we have made huge advances in immunotherapy lately that demonstrate that certain types of cancer can be beatable. And what we're really working here is to try to broaden that effect. So what is adoptive immunotherapy? So when you get infected by a virus, let's say if you get the flu or cold, your immune system mounts an immune response to that particular virus and not only kills the cells that contain that virus, but will remember that virus and for your whole life you will be protected against that particular virus. So we're trying to do the same thing now so, for cancer. Normally like the normals they start because they, she told me that there was kind of like a differentiation like yeah, this they, one is this one is probably less differentiated than that. There is a scientific challenge uh, in figuring out first of all uh, what are the targets that we're supposed to go after. Uh, cancer cells have a fantastic repertoire of targets inside them. Uh, these can be either molecules that are overexpressed compared to other cells in the body. They can be viral molecules. They can be expressed just in the cancer and nowhere else. And we have to figure out for what type of cancer, which target we should go after. We obviously are trying to find um, not only what is the best target, but then how strong should the immune response be to that target. And T cells have a weapon of sorts um, through the, their T cell receptor to specifically recognize the molecules inside the uh, cancer cells. And um, we can now select which T cell receptors we should be using for a particular target. Another challenge is to try to see what are the T cells that are the best vector or the best substrate to carry that weapon. And then also finding ways to make the T cells enter um, the very hostile tumor microenvironment. So those are the scientific challenges that uh, absolutely motivate me and probably for every cancer um, we're going to need a little bit of a different flavor of adoptive immunotherapy. Fred Hutch has developed a huge infrastructure now to move immunotherapy forward uh, with the um, immunotherapy clinic, with uh, a big cell processing facility that allows us now to churn out these, these T cell products for, for all sorts of patients. Giving these T cell products directly to the patient and seeing what happens in the patient so that we can improve it will help the field immensely.